Alright guys, it's really early in the morning, but I wanted to take a moment and talk to you about my morning routine. Hang on a sec. Having a morning routine is something that will set you apart as a successful individual. It is crucial whether you are an entrepreneur, business, college, real estate investor, military, regular job, stay-at-home parent, really doesn't matter. You need to have a morning routine. One of the reasons this is so critical is because it puts your body into a rhythm. In the Marine Corps, we call that a battle rhythm. And you want that battle rhythm to flow so that every single day your body is in a rhythm and it wakes up and it motivates you and you're ready to go. And you need to figure out what works for you. I get up at basically four in the morning every single day because it allows me to read for like 45 minutes and that's powerful. And then I have a whole hour to work on my blog, social media marketing, learn a new subject, network with other individuals, hygiene, just start the day. I want to show you what my morning routine looks like, but I don't want to mess up my morning routine. So I'm going to go downstairs and do my morning routine. And then after the fact, I'm going to come back when it's a little bit lighter and I'm going to film exactly what it is that I do in my morning routine and how it's changed my life. So until then, I need you to wake up, take a deep breath, and kick today in the chest. Alright guys. Morning, welcome back. Now that we're done with our uh, Miracle Morning routine, I'm gonna kind of discuss what it is that I do every morning. Just show you how we benefit from it, really. I mean, it's pretty simple, it just takes time. For me, I wake up at four in the morning every day. I know that's incredibly early for some of you, but it gives me about two, two and a half hours to get my morning routine done and then to still have an hour to type for my next blog post or uh, edit videos like this. As you see, when I wake up, right, so I grab my motivated highlighter. We got a book. We got journal. We got paper in the journal. And we're going to walk through all this real quick and show you how to have a great day. So if you've ever read the book, The Miracle Morning, it's by Hal Elrod. Uh, it's kind of what got me started on this. I listened to a Bigger Pockets podcast where Hal Elrod was the guest. He talked about his book. It intrigued me, so I read it. They talk about the first thing you do is silence, right? So that's the hum, meditation or prayer or just silence. Just five minutes of letting your soul, your mind, your body just do nothing. That means this bad boy should leave it upstairs, right? If you noticed, mine's face down over there. So after silence and, and thinking, the next thing I'm going to do is affirmations. The book Think and Grow Rich talks about this. The Miracle Morning talks about this. And basically the idea is what your mind thinks will happen. So if you train your mind every day, every morning, every night to repeat your goals and, and talk about what's important to you and how you're going to accomplish it. Not if you're going to accomplish it, but how you're going to accomplish it and when you're going to accomplish it. What it will look like when you accomplish it you'll be a lot more likely to achieve that. So this is a printout from My Desire to Riches program, part of the Think and Grow Rich book. I read it twice, both out loud. Sometimes I do one not out loud, but both out loud. And then I look back again at it at the end of the day. So mine, I kind of need to update this eventually, but the exact amount of money I desire is $5,000 per month. In return, I will do real estate. I will receive this money on this date. January 1st, 2020. The plan I will implement immediately to achieve this is spend at least five hours a week analyzing deals, networking, raising capital, and making deals. I see and feel myself receiving this money, achieving my goals. And then there's a quote, all achievements, all earned riches have their beginning in an idea. Basically just make it your focal point, it'll happen. They have a bunch in the Miracle Morning, a bunch of other affirmations. There's uh, self-confidence, health, fitness, relationships, financial success, adversity, they're all great. I, I always read one or two of those out loud every morning as well. About five minutes of affirmations. 
And then there's some other stuff from the Think and Grow Rich book, The Four Steps That Lead to the Habit of Persistence, A Definite Purpose Backed by Burning Desire for Its Fulfillment, A Definite Plan Expressed in Continuous Action, A Mind Closed Tightly Against All Negative and Discouraging Influences, A Friendly Alliance with One or More Persons Who Will Encourage You to Follow Through with Both Plan and Purpose. Those last two basically mean get rid of negative influencers, find good influencers, and hang out with them. After affirmations, scribing. So right now I'm using the 10X Planner by Grant Cardone. It's pretty good. I'm a fan so far. Basically on one side of this, it's got your day broken into hours so you can write out your goals, your plan, what you're going to be doing during that time, and how you're going to do it just to make sure that you've got your big ticket items over here. And then the other side here is goals. So it's got write your goals, quote of the day, targets, successes, write goals again. So you write your goals twice, right? Because that's important. And then quote of the day, whatever that may be for you, targets for the day, and successes, goals and journaling. Very important to success, stay on track. Okay, then the last thing I do is I read. So right now I'm reading Millionaire Real Estate Agent because I'm going to be getting my real estate license in a couple weeks. It's kind of a side hustle thing. Basically, I do five minutes of the other three things, and then I try to read until five in the morning. So if I was a little sluggish that morning, I might not get a full 45 minutes of reading. Quiet house, time for me to focus on me and learn, and then you know, I read a lot more books than I ever have by doing that. Then I'll go upstairs, and I will shave and shower and write my blog post for the week or spend some time marketing for social media, market my blog, reaching out to other influencers in my section to talk about writing a guest post or interviewing them, uh, just kind of trying to expand my circle. And then I'll probably do a little bit more research online. Just depends on what's going on that day. And then the last thing is exercise. I've basically been broken for the last two weeks, so no exercise. But at the end of my reading, I'll go exercise, whether that's the gym, uh, a run, cycling, even, even if it's just five minutes of crunches and push-ups, just something to get your heart going. So to summarize, we've got silence, affirmations, journaling, prescribing, reading, and then on top of those things, we've got exercise and we have a great day.